So I was looking up at the stars thinking about Jeremy, only I was walking down the stairs at the time. And now I'm stuck in bed. Doctor's orders. If I re-injure it, I'll have to miss the tiny cowboy concert tomorrow. Backstage passes. Candace. See you soon, Stace. Your father wants me to listen to one of his soundscapes, so I figured I'd strap on the headphones and finally get those flowers planted in the backyard. Do you think you can entertain yourself up here alone? Sure. Maybe I'll count useless limbs. One. Don't bother. We've got the perfect cure for boredom. Well, looks like things are under control here. Don't bring that junk in here. It's not junk. It's cool stuff to play with so you don't succumb to cabin fever. Please, a toy helicopter? Oh, and look, Mindy Mimic. Boring. Boring. Or you could do some reading. Herb and I wrote a 28-volume science fiction swashbuckling historical romance tell-all potboiler mystery satire buddy cop adventure tragedy how-to action novel. Also, we rigged up this closed-circuit video screen for you. And then we planted cameras at strategic locations around the house. So you can still be with the family while you're convalescing. This remote controls the camera and a few other surprises so you'll feel less, you know, imprisoned. Thanks for that characterization. Oh, look. There's Dad. Hey, where's Perry? Good morning, Agent P. Doofenshmirtz has been buying up all the hard salami, Kaiser rolls, pickles, roast beef, mustard, horseradish, sauerkraut, and pimento loaf in the tri-state area. We don't know what it means, but it sounds like a recipe for evil. Or at least an evil sandwich. Investigate at once. Hi, Mrs. Wooden Fletcher. What you doing? Um, I said... Rocking out with the headphones, huh? Hey, what are you losers up to? It's cosmonaut Sergei Krushnarov's birthday. Right now, Sergei is orbiting Earth in an international space station, trying to prove the existence of wormholes. And in a few hours, he'll be directly above our backyard. I hope they do not avoid the sanitation system. Is that the first place your brain goes? Really? Anyway, Ferb and I are constructing a stratospheric ionizer to make a happy birthday message appear in the upper atmosphere. Wow, sounds high tech. It sure is. Hey, Ferb, toss me that bone. Hey, Sergey, are you still waiting to hear from your American friends? You're missing party right here. Have some cake. Hmm. Relax, flame is cardboard. I'm not an idiot. Now come, it's your party. I will join you soon, comrades. Genius and Ferb said I should watch these guys for a special message. Those boys are so thoughtful. Oh, look at it, all swollen and useless. You are one sorry, laid-up, mummy-footed bed potato. Why you gotta be all like that? I mean, this is serious. I can't even get down to the radio station to pick up the backstage passes and... <gasps> What's that your brothers are building down there? What? Let me see, let me see. No way! You gotta stay off that foot. Mm. Wait, the video screen. There they are, doing things. And there's Mom, not noticing. Mom, Mom, turn around. You know she can't hear you. Then I'll call her. Hey, this is pretty good. Oh, why doesn't she answer? I'm going down there! No! Stacy, you've got to help me. <sighs> okay. Thank you. I am such an enabler. Harry the Platypus, you got yourself in quite a pickle there. See, because it's, it's a pickle, and you're inside it. Anyway, backstory. It all started the other day when I was visiting Tony's Deli. I had gotten a bowl of chicken soup, but it had a fly in it. It's a raisin. It's a fly. It's a raisin. So I took it to an entomologist. It's a raisin. But on the other side is a fly. Of course, by then, my soup was cold, and it was too late for a refund. But now, I will wash Tony's Deli off the face of the tri-state area with my new chicken supinator! It blasts out a super-concentrated rocket-like bolt of boiling hot chicken soup, powerful enough to demolish an entire city block! You wouldn't believe how much chicken soup that baby takes, though. Luckily, Aaron's Deli was having a sale. A half a gallon of chicken soup free with every $40 purchase. All that chicken soup, and it didn't cost me a nickel! <laughs> Of course, I had to buy a lot of food, mostly deli meat. They're piled up in the halls. It's kind of warm in there. I hope they keep. Come on, Stacy. Come on, Stacy. Hey, turn around. Turn around. This is it. Yeah, I mean you. Oh, hi, Stacy. What? It's hard to hear over all the noise we're making. Is Candace enjoying the live video? She's watching right now. Hi, Candace. We're waving back, but we can't see or hear you. <laughs> Wow, I'm surprised the spelling checker didn't catch that. I've got to deliver a message to your mom. She's right over there. Delivery. Mrs. Flynn Fletcher. Oh, hi, Stacy. Take a look. Oh, the azaleas. You can put those down over there. Okay, lower it here. Poor little regular platypus. Did mean old Perry the platypus stick you in there? Hey, why did you do... Perry the platypus? I don't know how you escaped or what you did with the other platypus, but here, these two-day-old bagels are harder than Bessemer steel. Have a knife. 
And how about some potato salad? Take this marble rye and get some brown sugar and some pickled herring and ooh, a red onion. A Gunther Flagendorf? But how do you know that sandwich? You only made one movie and that was back in Gimmel. Ah! Power test. Mom. 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 Oh, I may as well try that dumb remote. Oh yeah, I'm Freeza Bird. Okay, what else? Oh yeah, this thing. And this. Big whoop. Big whoop. <gasps> Mom, turn around. Mom, turn around. Mom, turn around. Mom, turn around. Oh, smile, Sergey. It is your birthday. I know, I was just hoping to get a message from the boys by now. Well, until then, you should join us in some fun. We are going to empty all of our canteens and drink from the giant floating water ball like ants in rainstorm. Okay, okay, but just a sip. What, a bathroom break? Next time go before you come along. Okay, how about some macaroni salad? Antacid? The only effective defense against deli foods. Look. Mom, turn around. Mom, turn around. Mom, turn around. Oh, for crying out loud. All right, guys. Sergei's space station is almost directly above us. Sing into the mic, and the stratospheric ionizer will visualize our words. One and a two and turn around. Turn around. Turn around. But the boy, comrades, listen. Evasive maneuvers quickly. Those boys, they have saved our lives. And look, we found a wormhole. Oh, yes. yes, that is what I am talking show. about. How did you even get them all in there? Ah! A chicken supernator! Ah! I'm glad your ankle's feeling better, dear, but you should really be lying down. And look, the kids cleared out the perfect spot for my snapdragons. I think that earns you some pie. Hooray! Oh, not the flowers, sweetie. I just planted those. They're lovely. It's a shame we couldn't get that message to Sergey. I'll try calling his cell. Hello, I'm unavailable because I am hurtling through time and evolving past our human limitations. So, don't bother leaving a message after the beep. I guess we'll never be able to wish him a happy birthday. Well, never say never. Happy birthday. They did remember. Such nice boys.